This is an entry one functional skills practice paper from City and Guilds. It's split into two parts. In part one, you can't use a calculator. Part one is worth eight marks. We'll have a look at each question in turn. Question one, work out 12 at four. Two at four is six, one at zero is one. So the answer is 16. Work out 20, take away 13. So we'll borrow one from the two to make it 10. So 10 take away three gives us seven. One take away one is zero. So the answer is seven. Question three, eight, and then we have seven equals 15. Write the correct symbol to finish the calculation. Eight add seven gives us 15. Tick all the shapes with four sides. There is a square and another square and a rectangle and another square and a square and a trapezium here. Question five, seven kilogram is, choose the correct words to finish the sentence. So seven kilogram is the same as 10 kilogram, which is not right. Seven kilogram is lighter than 10 kilogram, and that is correct. And of course, C and D are not correct. Question six. We've got a ticket machine. Your train fare is two pounds. Use the correct money. No change given. What would you put in the machine? Take your choice. I'd put this one. It's exactly two pounds. But you could put two one pound coins as well. These are four train tickets. 15 pounds, four pounds, 16 pounds and 12 pounds. Take the most expensive train ticket. That is 16 pounds. A customer has different options for a bus journey. 11 pounds, 9 pounds, 20 pounds, 17 pounds. Put the tickets in price order, started with the cheapest. The cheapest is 9 pounds. Then we have 11, 17 pounds and 20 pounds. This is the end of the first part. We'll now look at the second part of this paper where you can use a calculator. There are 24 marks in total for this part. How many months are there in one year? 12. This shape has six sides all the same size. What's the name of this shape? Cube. Take all the 10 P coins. The rest of them seem to be 5p, 2p or 1p. A man wants to catch the next bus from the bus station. This is the bus timetable. 
The man checks the time on his clock. So it's three o'clock. What is the time of the next bus the man can catch? So from three o'clock, the next one would be four o'clock. Show how you got your answer. The previous one. was at two o'clock, which is earlier than three o'clock. This map shows the bus station. Use the map to finish this sentence. The bus station is... Where is the pound shop? Is opposite the pound shop. There are four bus stops at the bus station. Which bus stop does bus number seven go from? That is bus stop C. A supervisor counts the number of people waiting at each bus stop. This chart shows the number of people at each bus stop. How many more people did the supervisor count at bus stop A than at bus stop D? So we're comparing these two. So in D we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. And in A we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15, take away 7, gives us 8. So 8 more. Question 5. A woman parks a car in a car park at the airport. The car park has four zones, zone one, zone two, zone three, and zone four. She sends her husband a text message. Hi, the car is in the zone with a triangle. So that's zone three. Which zone did the woman park in? Zone three. This list is in the lift. What level is the car park on? Car park is on level two. The woman is in the car park. She wants to go to check in. The lift has two buttons. So let's have a look from the car park to the check-in. That's going up. A level. So we've got to tick the correct words to finish the sentence. The woman needs to press the button on the left or right, that's the left.
because she wants to go up. How many black cars are in the garage? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven black cars in the garage. The manager wants a chart to show the numbers of white, grey and black cars. Draw in the bar for black cars. As we saw, there were seven black cars. So I'll try and colour this in, in black, because the bar for the white cars is in white, the bar for the grey cars is in grey, and now this is for black cars, so I'm going to colour it in, in black. You don't need to worry about that though, if you don't want to. Explain what your chart shows about the numbers of cars. So comparing these, there are more black cars than there are white or grey cars. Here are four cars. Custom wants to buy the smallest car to fit in the garage. Which car should he buy? Looking at them, car D looks to be seems to be the smallest. A car park has sixteen parking spaces. Three of the parking spaces are for drivers with the blue badge. The rest are for drivers without a blue badge. How many parking spaces are for drivers without a blue badge? So 16 take away 3 leaves us with 13. The car park has 16 parking spaces. Seven cars are in the car park. How many more cars can park in the car park? So 16 take away 7 gives us nine. A man pays to park his car for 20 minutes. He spends 15 minutes shopping. How many minutes parking does he have left? So 20, take away 15, that is five minutes left. Question eight, a man buys a ticket on Monday. He can use a ticket for three days starting from the day he buys it. On which three days can he use the ticket? So we've got Monday, then Tuesday, then Wednesday. 
The ticket costs six pounds. The man pays with this note. How much change will he get? Put units on your answer. So take away six. That leaves us with four. So four pounds. And this is the end of the paper.